Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, a little bit different than normal. I kind of wanted to bring up a topic that's been basically private message to me quite a bit from a, a few different people. Um, if you haven't been on the channel or if you've just seen it, I released a series for MetaXR, specifically the Quest, which focused on doing hand tracking and that sort of thing. Um, that's kind of spawned a lot of questions asking me to do Apple Vision Pro content. So I just wanted to make this video to be absolutely real and kind of explain why I can't do that because it seems to be a common thing that people are messaging me about. Um, straight up, I would absolutely love to do Apple Vision content, but financially, it's not really possible for me to do. Um, the reason for that is with the specs, the way Unreal Engine works is you have to have a Mac. So as it says here, a Mac with Apple Silicon, M1, M2, or M3, which is required. And then you also need the headset as well. So unfortunately, it's not as easy as just buying an Apple Vision Pro for three and a half thousand pounds. It would mean that I would have to invest in a full setup for the Apple Mac also. So at the end of the day, it would be down to something like a 30 inch MacBook M3 chip which is then £1,298. So that would come to a total with Apple Care, like five and a bit grand. And just generally as it is, I can't afford that as a developer. Everything I do is on Windows. So this video is to basically say, I can't do Apple Vision development as much as I'd love to. Um, so please keep that in mind. I'll put this up on the main channel but if anybody does have any questions regarding it, then feel free to reach out. I'll do my best to help. Um, but in the meantime, the videos that I built for the MetaXR hand tracking stuff, they actually work. All the logic should work with the Apple Vision Pro. Um, you can use the MetaXR, um, not the MetaXR plugin, sorry, the OpenXR plugin, as well as the OpenXR iOS. I think there's a plugin in, in Unreal now for iOS pass through content. So if you use that with the source build, you should be able to go through and follow that series and then go through it and then set it up as you would with any normal project. Um, but unfortunately I can't do that. I can't create videos on that uh, and how to, to do it because Apple's strategy of having to make a developer invest five and a half grand into their platform isn't feasible for me. Um, everything I make with the Patreon and the other games marketplace goes to pay for rent and daughter's childcare. So blowing that much money on a, a couple of videos, it doesn't really make much sense for me, unfortunately. So I'm really sorry about that. But if you are interested in getting set up, you can follow these videos. They should work with the Apple Vision Pro. You just might have to do a little bit of digging. Um, all right, I'll leave it there. I didn't want to ramble too much. I just want to say, if you've got any issues with it, just let me know. But unfortunately, I can't help as it is, I've just been receiving a lot of private messages asking for content, and this is the only content I can really do on it, unfortunately. So yeah, if you want to check it out, make sure to check out the videos on the channel. Um, ask any questions, we're over in the Discord. But for now, that's pretty much it. I'll see you all next time with some other headsets. Cool, bye.